Hi, Jeff Babbitts here, and today I'm going to show you how to install my full contact hardware at two pneumatic bridge on this really nice Les Paul. Okay, this is the full contact hardware pneumatic clamshell packaging. We'll open her up. And first you'll see the tailpiece, lightweight extruded aluminum, the full contact tunematic bridge itself. Here are the fine intonation adjustment screws. Lock down after you do your intonation adjustments coarse intonation adjustment screw and of course your ecam saddle assembly on the bottom is the connecting plate this one is arched for a carved top Les Paul style guitar this is what actually sits on top of the guitar and eliminates any gaps under the bridge here's your instruction sheet has some some tips on installation for the tunematic here. Also has your serial number. You can go online to the fullcontacthardware.com website and register your purchase. Um, in the package includes shims for shimming your bridge elevation. These would go below the bridge and in between the connecting plate if you need them. Usually you don't need these. Your wrenches and then you get one extra connecting plate and this one is completely flat. This would be for a flat style, flat top style Les Paul or like an SG style guitar. You would take this plate off the arched one and put this one on. Also in the package includes your various M5 the smaller ones and M8 mounting studs. Okay we're going to talk a little bit about the mounting studs and inserts. Um, the FCH kit includes two of the most popular sizes, the M5 and the M8 and the larger ones are the M8 and these go to the tailpiece the ones with the shoulders you can see it has a shoulder here the M5 has a shoulder here and that would go on like such and then on the bridge side we have the M5 with the insert and of course the M8 with the threaded insert as well. This has a wave washer on the bottom. Install the bridge. The wave washer goes below the bridge and rests on top of the insert. There's also an optional flat washer that you can put above the bridge on right below the screw head on the stud if you want to use that. Again that's optional. So here's your M8 stud and insert assembly on the FCH Tunematic bridge. Now we have the old bridge removed and we're installing the M8 tailpiece studs. And the M5 bridge stud with the wave washer attached. Take your FCH tunematic bridge, 
This is the arched connecting plate to match the arch on the top of the guitar. And this just slides into position like this. You want to push it all the way forward and tighten down just enough so that it's slightly snug. And once again, if you wish, you can use the included optional washer on the top. I'm opting to leave that out. Then you would slide on your tailpiece and string your guitar. Okay, now we want to set our action height. Loosen the lock screw on the left and adjust your action height. You can see the string moving up and down. The screw on the right sets your height. Once you have it set where you want, you simply go back in and tighten up your lock screw and that locks your action height setting. Okay, now we're going to set our intonation. There are two adjustments for that, the coarse intonation adjustment, which I recommend setting your string height first, tuning up, and then setting your bridge position by turning the coarse intonation adjustments. That's going to get it in the approximate vicinity that, that you want. Okay, so you want to pluck the string. The open note should match the fretted note at the 12th fret. The note is sharp, which in this case it probably will be because I mounted the bridge all the way far forward. You want to move the bridge back. Once you have your coarse intonation adjustment set, then you come in and lock your bridge into position, medium pressure. Now I'm on to setting the fine intonation adjustment. Each Ecamm saddle housing has its own adjustment. You would loosen the lock on the front. Again, fret your note at the 12th fret, and the open note should be the same. And you just turn your fine adjustment however you want. And come down and lock the saddle in position. This way the saddle can't vibrate and move back and forth. And continue with the rest of your saddle adjustments for fine intonation. And you're ready to go. Okay, the installation is complete. My action height is set, my intonation is set, my bridge is locked down, and if you look underneath, you can see there's your full contact. The connecting plate is sitting right on top of the guitar. That directly couples your strings to the top. That gives you improved sustain and tone, and you're all ready to go.